everybody, it's Kelly and welcome to day 20. So this is day 19 and that was the back of my celebration with my um, stepson and daughter-in-law and the grandkids with lots of photos and this kind of crazy photo here. So depending on how this works out for this one, I may want to put something in between these two like a vellum or... Um, I did grab like this blue um, star paper. I was hoping for, I have to remember like red or white stars, which I don't have. All the pieces of um, of uh, acetate like this that I have are too small to go six by eight. I'd have to have another piece of paper in there and I'm not ready for that right now. So I'm, I might do that eventually. We'll see what happens when I get done with this. So this is a photo of the cookie jar that they gave me on this day. And it says for a special grandma. And then it has a little recipe for a special grandma. And then it has their names on it. So the four M's. So I did choose these cards as I was going through my cards. Um, I think that because this is a present and the you know the present card is completely appropriate and then just this december day and i can talk about this then i really want to use this wood veneer i want to use some wood veneer on this layout because i have so much of it here and i haven't been using it very much i also haven't been using as many of these chipboard stickers which you know it's so funny how from year to year you go through different things at different rates and i'm just not using these as much this year as i had hoped so um this big piece really for me probably will only work here if i put something in the middle i could do that but i don't know that yet that i'm going to do that so what I'm thinking I'll do is let's get that on just right away, right? So that that decision is done, that, um, you know, I know it's going to be on there. Boom, finished, right? So then this can come in here. And even if this slides a little bit, Let's see, let's bring it over just a little bit more. <laughs> and then I'll have to remember that uh, I leave room for it, leave room for the writing, you know, like leave a little bit of space here when I do that. So then this would go in here, this would go here. So um, there's a big tree there. Merry making is cute. I, I like it when my words for these are fairly... Um, what do I want to say are fairly wide here there's some looking at like this is not an ordinary December day but there certainly were plenty of those I could do this simple Merry Christmas well, we have holiday happiness here or both Didn't think about that. I also have these color cast design ones. Like holiday playlist, believe in the magic, December memories would be nice. Um, <laughs> holiday wishes here. That's kind of nice. That's bigger too. So that might take up more space on this card. Let's see. I kind of like that because of that, because it takes up a little bit more space. And then what I'm going to do is I still have my brown ink pad on from the other day. And I'm going to go through and I'm just going to ink the edges of this lightly because this piece from my advent kit is inked. And I think it It'll look a little bit, it'll blend in a little bit more if I do that. Yeah, I like that just a little bit better. It's a really subtle thing, and I actually like that holiday wishes. Now, these three by four cards, I could put a date or something there or nothing at all, depending on what I decide to do. Okay, so we have that. We have this one. Oh, this needs to go on the outside. So let me get this one in here so I know where to put it. And I kind of like that you can do that with those cards. And then we have that. Now the question is, let's see, the present. Nope. This 
So we have this one. I like the this heart, but it's too big. Let's see, this one doesn't have any hearts in it. Here's a star. It's almost like it needs to go up there, but I do have my little, my trays of wood veneer. So let me grab one of those. And I'm pretty sure I threw some hearts in here. Or maybe I didn't. <laughs> I do have lots of stars though. Okay, one look one looks a little small. Maybe three up there, and then, although I need to get the date on this card, so you know what I could do? I want to bring some green down to this card, and I'm thinking the date, so it's the 20th, right? So I think I'm going to pop it right in there on this card. We'll kind of nestle it in here a little bit. So now it reads 20 December. There. Okay, that I really like. I think there's enough um, on this card, I was toying with, although maybe a small star could go here. Nope. Too much. <laughs> it's so many times I'm like, okay, let me add this. And then I'm like, nope, nope, nope. And I keep saying no. <laughs> Is that the same? Yeah, that's the same size. I'm looking for like a medium size. These are very thick. Okay, I, I'm i not seeing another size. So let's just get these on. Oh, photo in the pocket. Need to trim this just slightly again. It's actually, I was thinking it was this pocket that's narrow. I think it's this one. Anyway, one of these two pockets is narrower and I usually just trim the photo just a, just a hair and then it actually slides in there nicely. Otherwise, not so much. And actually, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to go to my jewel dots because this is not staying on there. But um, what I'm going to do with this is add my mini dots here to keep that on there. Okay. And I, maybe I maybe a small third one. Let's see if I can find another one of those little baby ones. Yeah, I think it needs a third one, but one of the little tiny, tiny ones. There. All right, guys. I think that's it for this day. And now that I have this together, I don't know that I have to put something in between these. I'm liking it okay here. I could if I really wanted to make this pull together put a star over here, but I think that's okay because this is part of the other layout. So, all right, guys, I will be back tomorrow with day 21. That's just crazy. So, all right, everybody. Bye.